can't believe this is in my room. So none of this is working. Holy moly. We've got the goods. As you can see, Nelly's having a fucking field day. I don't really know what I'm doing. This looks insane. Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Obviously by the thumbnail on the title and what you see behind me. Today's video is so exciting. I am finally... And when I mean finally, I mean fucking finally. <laughs> Setting up my dream shelves. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have a corner piece and it's just, I'm just so obsessed. I stare at this every day and I'm just over the moon. But this video is going to be a little montage, I guess you call it, of me getting new bookshelves from Ikea, driving the three hours to Melbourne to get them, building them and then arranging all the books in the way I want it. It's not perfect, but it's the way I want it right now and I'm over the moon and I'm just so happy that I Got to film this for you guys because i love filming these i've filmed a couple of these before but most importantly i love watching these videos and seeing what everybody has in their collection it's so much fun so i hope you guys enjoy this video i am going to jump right into it because it's a little bit lengthy so grab a snack grab some water and just enjoy yourself i hope you guys had a safe and merry christmas when i upload this christmas is over but it's still not the new year so get ready pretty much to sum it up i am over the moon with these freaking shelves so if you want to see the journey that it took me and also my dad to do this it was long journey to say the least. So if you want to know what happens in this video and how I got to have my dream shelves, just keep on watching. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me it is currently the 16th of December. Hi everybody, I'm gonna start my shelves. Good day. Don't know why I just did that. Right now I don't have any bookshelves in my possession. I haven't gone to IKEA yet, etc. etc. So this is what my current shelving setup looks like how do i show you <laughs> three three bookshelves are from ikea these actually came with the house when we purchased it so yes thank you so my plan is i don't know if i've actually said it before because obviously i'm filming this prior to the everything so my plan is to get a skinnier shelf and fit it in between the corner so i have this a shelf here a skinny one and the two big ones but what i'm going to do right now is take all this off this wall and move this shelf to face here so i can properly measure it because i want to be a hundred percent sure so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to take everything off the top of this shelf all the books off this shelf because it's going to be freaking heavy because it's paperbacks and hard racks and take the lights off because they're all connected i did just put the lights on so i'm like pissing myself over that i'm out of focus so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to probably listen to the basement yard because that's my comfort i'm kind of excited <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm just in the mood to cry because nothing's going right. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And people are going to be like, why are you crying over this? I have severe depression, so leave me alone. Anyway, how's that going to fit on an angle? I could fit it here, but it's going to look stupid. I wanted to move it prior to obviously going the three hours to Ikea to see if it was worth it. And I still don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Why can't I just have a normal shelf? I low-key want to die. <laughs> okay, so now I'm thinking of getting this one, which is the three small ones, and putting it here, which is this length here, and then moving one of these over there, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Is it going to look weird if I have three small corner ones and then two big ones? I wouldn't think it would look weird. So I don't know what to do. Like, I think this is okay. Like, that would be really cool, I reckon. And it's not focusing. I'm going to need an extension for them because these are sevens and they have to match. So I don't know what I'm going to do. We live and we learn. We take one step at a time. You know that shit. I'm trying to find the one that I literally just found before. Like, what the heck? Okay, I figured it out. Kind of. Not really. But I just have to change my buying shelf process. So instead of buying one single Ikea one, I'm buying the three corner one which will attach to these ones so this corner will have three similar ones and then this and then this shelf over here will be moved over there so that's going to go in that corner so i'm going to move that tonight so you might be seeing that tonight but as of right now these two shelves are staying as they are i'm going to move that shelf that i moved over there put all these books that are on my bed on the floor and then set that one up i am hopefully putting it on an angle so i can miss this shelf if i have to take it off i have to take it off but so i don't really want to i don't really know what i'm doing but my plan is hostile 
Grasshopper shelf, classic shelf, and Harry Potter shelf. I just realized I have a stuff up there that I could put on the other shelf. There's was none now. But I just put some dinner on. I'm gonna clean up this area and you'll see a time lapse of me hopefully moving this out the fucking way because it's gonna be a lot of work. So this is what we're looking at guys. This is my shelf. Unfortunately, I did have to take that floating shelf off. But this is the one billy shelf that was over there. So that's what's happening. So that will be the corner piece. It looks a bit better over this way. So now you kind of see what I'm like the vision. So this will be the three corner piece. I'm going to decorate these now. One of these will be Heartstopper and the other one will be Harry Potter. Because I have the Harry Potter stuff up there. So I can do like a whole decorative piece. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening. But um, I'm happy with the outcome. I think as a whole it looks good. literally 8 p.m. as you can see behind me they are pretty bare because i've just moved all my heart stuff and stuff it looks a bit bare because i know that i have the nick and charlie novella collector's edition under the tree and i'm pretty sure annalisa will be buying me more collector's edition of heartstopper for christmas so there is gaps in everything so ignore that so these are my shelves um as you can see the top two are a bit spacey for reasons obviously really cute i'm gonna probably remove this shelf and put my umbrella academy comics down there as well as the bios because as you can see they're very tall anyway let's run through it really quickly up here we have alice oseman novels and then i have a little photo of when they liked my comment and i cried for an hour and we have the tv adaptation of heartstopper moving down we have the comic of heartstopper in here main focal point we have the yearbook then i have my attitude magazine with the cast of heartstopper on the front that wasn't a frame on the shelves behind me but i took it out so i think it looks really cute anyway not the point moving down we have the big middle shelf so i have akata here because it's my pride and joy basically and then we have like this tray that i had over there before we have my omar beauty perfume cute moving down i moved the classics once again i rearranged these shelves so they would fit and then we have my little harry potter all the ones back there gotta fix that anyway but i like it i think it's stunning this is horrible lighting that's even worse good morning everybody it is currently 7 30 it is the 20th of december today officially we're going to ikea and picking up my new bookshelves dad is filling the car up while i do this fun fact the family and i live three hours away from melbourne so we have to drive three hours to get my bookshelves safe to say i love my dad dearly so we're gonna head into ikea today and then maybe when i get home i'll build a shelf i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't know when i'm going to be getting home obviously you guys have already seen me move one bookshelf so this is the time period where i'm getting my new ones this is the part where it, it gets exciting like i'll build a shelf and like it, it's happening you know what i mean enjoy whatever the fuck happens but i'm excited <laughs> Guess who's home? It is three o'clock. <laughs> this is my new babies. I am so excited. So I have my three shelves here, my extenders and my corner fittings. So I'm going to build them in mum and dad's room because the floor is empty and I can just transfer them into the next room, which is my room. But I'll probably do a time lapse because I feel like it's a bit pointless because the rest of this is me organizing it. So I want to do a time lapse of me building it. And that's the way to go. <laughs> One done, two more to go. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I 
Okay, so a little bit of an update. I just took all of the books off. Oh, except them. Just remember they're there. I have some here and then most of them are in the study because I have to move this down so we can get all this together. So hopefully it works. You could tell which ones are the new ones and which ones are the old ones. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't even want you to guess how long this has taken me and my dad to do. I can't believe this is my room. Massive. Massive. Shout out to my dad. He's not going to watch this, but still. Anyway, ignoring all this, but these are my shelves. I had to cut a bit of my door off, but that's completely fine. But if you walk in, like this is a view from when you walk in. These are the two corner ones, and then I added the other one in here. I bought the extensions for these thinking they were like small. Like I said, they're the same height. I just need to buy a new shelf to make it seven, but I'm an idiot and bought extensions. So I just popped off $35 for no reason. Anyway, I'm gonna keep them because I can always extend up obviously with the big ones as well. I've taken a shelf out of my big Billy ones. So now I have six shelves each, but it's cute, it's whatever. It's literally 8.30. <laughs> I've been doing this for hours, but I feel like this is gonna be so worth it. But I have books on my bed, I have books in the study. I'm gonna try and get all of these books off my bed. But I don't think I'm gonna be decorating today. I think I'm gonna leave it. This is taking me so long and I've stressed so much, but my dream shelves are here. That is incredible, incredible. Hi everybody, welcome back to day two of reorganizing the books, I guess. Can these cars actually be quiet? Thank you. I know it looks like they're on the shelf, but they're not really because I've just popped everything that was on the floor on these shelves, so they're off the floor, obviously. So the only things right now that are in a position is the top shelf and like a couple of these shelves here. That's it. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. I also did get nine new books today. Did I need to? No. But they were new releases, so, mm, you know? I mean, trying to figure out where to put everything. Because obviously having so much space now, I can space all the shelves out. I need to have a large shelf for Cassandra Claire because I have so much of her fucking shit. But I'm thinking of doing like YA, like romance YA. And then like continuing it down would be Cassandra Claire. Like by Shadow and Bones I have. More like fantasy. Because they're my darker books. I kind of would like it to go colour and then down. Also, I want you guys to know I am a visual book person. I don't really have a place for everything. As long as the set's together and as long as all the author's books are together, if I, if I have two or more of the same author, I stick them together and I'm a happy gal. So that's what's happening so far. So we're going to start with these three shelves and making them all like my YA type of stuff and then move down. We'll see. I think over here I'm going to put my Elsie Silver. I know it's going to be a waste of space to some people, but I like the look of it and it's very very pleasing to me so it's going there up here we will do oh fucking hell this is gonna be hard i got these literally like an hour ago the liz tomford like sport romance trio i guess so they're going on there also my chloe walsh can go up here maybe i can do my lauren asher love me some lauren asher one of the best reads of 2023 just saying right now Got my Ally Hazelwood. I just got this one today as well. Okay, tell me that ain't cute. Come on now. I like to be artistic with my shelves. If I have the space, I'm gonna like span it out if that makes sense. So I have the entire Chestnut Springs series and I actually low-key want to put them in here. Just like chilling. I'm obviously gonna put decorations on. Like just like that. Is that not cute? I also want to clarify that I do have books under the tree for Christmas, but I want to get all this done so I can upload this video for you guys. So it might change a little bit by the time Christmas is over and I'm like obviously unpackaging or whatever the books from under the tree. Let's just move on. So this is the third and final shelf in that lineup. I forgot about Emily Henry, guys. Shit. This is crazy. All my tabs to Emily Henry books. Sorry about it. Why am I apologizing? I don't know. That's the same layout as the other shelf. They're all like going to be the same, I feel like. Okay, okay, okay. I see the vision. Is that terrible? I'm just going to sit here and like look at them and be like, is it bad? Okay, I think I might move these. That was a bad idea.
I've had a break for dinner and I wanted to put this light on first of all because you can see better. I want to kind of show you guys what I've done. I don't know if I like it, but we're working with that. I'm also holding a tripod, so this is going to be really bad. Anyway, the main shelf I've done is this one here. I was just going to have like the same size paperbacks and then like the middle section would be here. I don't know if I like it completely. And then we have this one. I, I love how I did the Jenny Hahn books here, but I don't know if I should put Blind Painter with it or not, but that's just me, my opinion, whatever. These ones here are all like fantasy, and then there's like thrillers back there, kind of. Anyway, these are my two favorite shelves in the entire world. I don't know, I really love them. You guys saw me do this shelf already. I have this one here. I'm probably going to leave all my Taylor Jenkins over here. Like, it's staying there. But everything else, I don't know yet. The only things that you haven't seen me do is these two down here. So this is Lemony Snickets. They fit literally perfectly. So happy with that. And this one here is all my Shatter Me. I know the backwards, I have to fix them. So they're going to probably stay there as well because, you know, it's a massive set and I think it looks good there. But everything else, I have no idea. So we're just going to stick it out and have a look see shall we but what i'm gonna do is do all of the ya romance whatever and then when i get to this stuff on the bed i'll do a more in depth because i want this to be talking but i also want this video to be like time lapse and stuff because i like a bit of both when i watch these type of videos so i don't know i'm keen so i'll do a time lapse of what i can do and then i will keep you updated <laughs> Okay, so I absolutely hate this shelf, but we're gonna leave it. I don't want to do with it right now, so that's cool. This little cube where Caravelle is, is I have a bunch of Stephanie Garber books under the tree. I have the rest of that series, and then Once Upon a Broken Heart under that series. Under that series? No, under the tree as well, so it will join there. That's why I just have that one book there, so ignore that. Moving over, these are the two shelves I didn't show you, I don't think. Um, obviously, I'll give you an overview soon. I might even do a whole bookshelf tour. I don't fucking know if you guys want that, but this is this shelf. I finished this one. There is books there. And then down, these are like thrillers uh, thriller mysteries i guess like and then starting fantasy with cruel prince i don't know i just left them there because the rest of the books on my bed are massive sets or cassandra claire so i think like i'm gonna start my cassandra claire this way so one two and then continue on because then i can go down the other way you know what i mean so these are poetry i don't even know where to put them i don't even know the real order to these you know hi this is my little corner we're gonna start cassandra claire have I read any of them? No. So if you see the back of my head, that's the point. Is that too high? Probably. <laughs> is that too high? No. Okay, we can do that. Are they in order? That's gonna fall, isn't it? It's about to fall. Three, two, one. Cool. Moving to this corner. Ta-da. Like this is the Dark Artifact set. And then I have, what's this one called? The Internal Devices. Oh, look, it fell again. <laughs> and then I have the last hours and these covers are absolutely stunning like hello so i don't know what to do with that information because none of them will fit here no way in book they're too thickums okay i don't know what i'm doing see they're taller too why are they taller tell me why they're taller please does that look weird be honest See, I like that. I don't know. I'm just like a sucker for a good looking book, to be honest. So I have the 10th anniversary editions of City of Bones and Clockwork Angel. This one is so banged up. It's insane. But they have gorgeous um, end paper art. And I don't know if they have any in here. All of this. Like, this is stunning. Look at these art. I think I just ripped it. That's great. Stunning. I'll probably put that one on this shelf because that's there. You can't see absolutely dog shit, but it's fine. This is all my Cassandra Claire done, I believe. So I'm going to keep it going with something. I don't know what though, but we'll keep it going with something. You're going to have to forgive me for these angles. So ignore the shoes. Okay, cool. I'm going to put my Richard Castle here. All of these. This is my childhood. I haven't read them, but I watched the show religiously. So that looks like poop. It's really funny because this was the first book I ordered like internationally. I had to get this one from the UK, I believe. And I bought this through COVID. Like this was one of my massive sets that I got during COVID to bring my kind of reading up. And that was like my first international one. And I bought so many books internationally now. So it's just funny to me that I can look back and that look at my books and be like yeah i got that from the uk this took me so long to acquire like this whole set it's stunning i'm obsessed watch me just fix all these up during the next couple days because i just have no life 
cool moving on this one will be shadow and bone i have the normal paperbacks so they will go on here i don't know where to put this set so that's why they're there so i have the three collector's editions of these um, i got shadow and bone first six of crows here it's a bit dingy which i do not like because it's got spread edges and it's signed and i got really annoyed and crook kingdom is the same as well these are dirty as fuck they've been moved so many times Oh yeah, yo! Do I want to face front that one though? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm gonna add the finisher touches bookwise to these shelves, and then I'll go through them, and then I will do probably my little collectibles, like my little knickknacks, candles, and stuff, and put them everywhere, and then probably do an overview, and then I think we'll be done. Guess who's done? This looks insane. I just put all my little knickknacks on. Don't know if it's gonna stay like this again. It's gonna change a tinsy wincy after christmas i'm gonna take these off i think there's like 10 books under the tree right now so i'll have to rearrange pretty much all of this in like a week but i wanted it to be done so i could upload this video for you guys but also that i can personally just stare at it instead of stacks and stacks and books okay obviously i'm gonna add lights and greenery i bought them today but i'm just gonna leave it for now because i just want the books to be in there you know what i mean really quickly we're gonna do an overview if you guys want an in-depth bookshelf tour i will gladly do that but i want you guys to let me know because i don't want to just do it and no one watches it you know what i mean not everybody likes this style of bookshelves a lot of people like just simple bookshelf organization of like straight up flat and nothing else this is visually appealing to me and it makes my heart happy as shit so this is the absolute top top of the shelves and then moving down we go all the way down ignoring the shoes there okay so i technically technically i have a whole free shelf because everything is like spaced out so it's fine okay so starting from the top 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 we just have pop vinyls so just ignore them but this first shelf we have the start i just realized there's one last stop is just sitting there that's fucking lovely oh my god anyway we have the start of the rainbow standalones and then continuing on to the next cube we have the rest of the rainbow and again like you can obviously see it's continuing on and in the last one there we have akatar i'm planning fingers crossed that i'm going to get eventually new dust jackets for them that's why they're just sitting there so i don't 100 know if they're staying there moving down this is the start of like ya romance again i have no rhyme or reason to where these pieces go i just put them in my fucking shelf okay we have most of this is romance let's be honest moving along we have one of my favorite shells which is the elsie silver on the right hand corner here and then continuing on we have a bunch more romance ya etc etc and then in this corner here we have red white and royal blue i know for a fact i have one of the collector's edition under the tree and then next to it we have more sarah j mass then we have throne of glass there we have the fourth wing little section moving along we still have more ya romance etc etc most of my shit is ya you guys understand now <laughs> And then another one of my favorites. So these two really are my favorites, let's be honest. This is my Emily Henry little section. And then moving along here, we have again more YA. Are you surprised? And then moving down, I did change this shelf. You guys knew, or oh, I told you that I fucking hated it. I still am a bit skeptical on it. And then next to it on the right hand side is my Stephanie Garber little section. It will be there for Christmas. So now we're kind of getting into different genres. Finally. Woo. So this little section is sci-fi slash thriller slash mystery and then moving along there over here we have my little shadow me section again that's more like sci-fi fantasy not sci-fi more fantasy right and then next to that we have the Looney snickets whole set i'll do these four so you can get out of the way of the bed i don't know if you can see any of that but down here you saw me do it this is the uh shadow hunters city bones collection next to that is what the fuck was it called yeah the chain of gold little set and then below that is twilight down here and then next to that is game of thrones and then moving along so this is obviously still cassandra clear so i did the rest of cassandra clear there we have more sci-fi we have the richard castle cube and then here we have shadow and bone and then a bunch of like random we have like fucking hung games and the foxhole court like it doesn't match but i know it's there next to that we have percy jackson and the maid runner i am actually getting a new set of percy jackson because molly is kindly gifting me her set because she bought the luma crate version so i'm gonna have like the pretty spines soon next to that we have poetry there we have some divergent and then we have land of stories i just put the poetry there because those covers are stunning so as an overview you can tell that i have a lot of books but i am loving it the amount of like tears and sweat mostly sweat that went into this it's just insane that i can have i can actually say these are my dream shelves i've always wanted like a corner piece etc etc so i'm like over the moon that this is mine but yeah i'm a baymax just fell over i'm just 
basically I'm over the moon with how this turned out. I am super happy with it. Like this is insane that I can like come in here and just look at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just stunning to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment of me trying to sort these fork and shelves out. We got there in the end guys. We got there in the end clearly. But yeah so this is like my pride and joy. When I'm not feeling it in this world I can jump into those worlds and feel much better about myself. So it's a good thing that I'm obsessed with books. So but that is the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did good a massive thumbs up for me. I love watching these videos with a passion so I hope you guys enjoyed watching mine. If you're new here please subscribe. Make a video every single Thursday at 12 p.m. if I'm up for it. All my social media links and everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below like always. Remember to spread love and stay positive and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.